Hello and welcome to quick tip 34. One thing, one tool that you might use quite a lot in uh, your programming is the toolbox here. And this is a very quick way of making sure that we've got a lot of code that we need to do a particular task. For example, the price series provider, which I've just double clicked, is a very useful uh, tool. Now, if we go, if we, we click on that, we might actually wish to include the code in our program rather than as this component in the component tray. And the way we can do that is we can go to view designer generated code and we can see the code there. Now, the only problem is this particular construct using initialized component, this should only be in designer generated code and you can't edit designer generated code directly. So what I suggest, well, we'll look at a couple of different ways of doing this, but firstly, let's go back to the program and we're going to click on properties and we're going to double click here on initialize. And this is under the events um, icon there. So double click, that's creating some code directly in our program. And what we can do is go back to the code here and then highlight the code that we want to copy into our main program, except this time that's going to be going into the uh, initialize, uh, or rather analysis technique initialized rather than the initialized component. The other thing that we need is a variable. So I'm just going to copy that as well and put that in the program. Now, having done that, if we were to try and verify this now, we would get an error. And the reason for that is that we've still got this component. So the next thing we need to do is delete that and then verify the program. And if we go back to the designer generated code, you'll see that the stuff that was originally there to set up the PSP is no longer there. So that is one way we can do that. Do this. Uh, what? Let me just demonstrate another way. What I'm going to do is just delete the program so that we can uh, start from scratch. And incidentally, once you've uh, once you've done this, you would obviously need to um, put in some information here in terms of the uh, interval span and uh, whether you want local uh, uh, time zone, local or exchange, the name of the symbol, etc., which we're not going to do as far as this concerned. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, stop the uh, the video now, just going to delete the programs and the designer generated code, and then we'll go back and start again. Okay, so let me show you another way. So we go back to the toolbox. We're going to be using the price series provider. Double click on that. And uh, as I said before, you can fill in some of the details. You could do that in the program when we've copied it, or you could actually make some of the changes here, which might be uh, might be a little easier to do just to make sure that you're using the right syntax and so on. But um, what we want to do in this case is rather than using the method that we just used to initialize everything, we're just going to use a once statement, which is probably a little a little simpler. So once begin end, and uh, to get the code, we're going to go to the designer generated code. Uh, again, we're going to be using this code here. So let's just copy that and put that in the one statement. And the other thing we need to do is just set up the variable. So that's also here in the designer generated code. Copy that and put that in the program. And having done that, we can now delete the price series provider from the component tray going to verify that. That looks okay. And if we go now to the designer generated code, you'll see that it is completely blank because we're not using the uh, initialized technique that we used in the previous example. Incidentally, if you do choose to, uh, to do it this way, make sure that this once statement is after all your methods in the program. Anyway, uh, hopefully you will find that useful. This applies of course, to uh, other things that you might set up using the toolbox and the component tray. So thank you very much.